Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use mods on uh, Secure Breach. Now, I've already done a tutorial before on uh, this. Um, however, since a new patch of Secure Breach, you are unable to use mods. Now, they didn't prevent it, is because they changed to a newer engine of Unreal Engine 4, which caused the old mods to stop working. Now, you can get those mods to work again if you use an older version of Secure Breach, or you could wait for a mod to update to the latest version of uh, Secure Breach. Now, there's not a whole lot of mods that have updated to the newest version, so today I'm going to be showing you how to play an old version of Secure Breach, which would be the June patch, which was the latest patch before Ruin, and um, how to use mods on it. So. I'm going to get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is that we're just going to get our mod, right? So this mod that I'm going to be choosing is Candy Mod. Um, if you don't know how to download mods, in the description I have links for everything for this video will be in the description. You click on the first link, relatively, and then you just uh, you get this page, scroll down, and you, you click a button that says Manual Download. Once you click that, bring it to this page you just click download again and then it'll start downloading the mod now once your mod is fully downloaded we're also going to download the other thing that we're going to be using to use the mods with and we're going to be using uh, this software um personally you could do a different way of doing this but i like using this because it works 100 percent of the time with the mods Sometimes if you put a mod into a mods folder that you make yourself for Security Breach, um, they wouldn't work. So that's why I use this instead um, to actually enable the mods for Security Breach. So this mod manager, you're going to have to scroll down, same things before, manual download, and then you click download. Start downloading. Now we're just going to go into our files on the computer. I already have a folder for my desktop um, for this tutorial. I'm going to my downloads. I'm going to drag the, the mod manager into here, the zip file. Now, if you don't have WinRAR, you won't get this zip file. Um, the WinRAR would be in the description if you want it, or if you have like a, a 7-zip or whatever zip file you use, it would work. Um, I just use uh, WinRAR preference. Um, but anyways, you just extract the zip into here, and then now you have the mod manager. We'll get into this in uh, a little bit. Um, you don't have to move your mod just yet because we're going to be doing something else that's uh, that's important. So the next thing we're going to want to do is actually get the old version of Secure Breach. Which, like I said, we're going to be using the June patch, which just saying the June patch was the latest patch we've gotten for the game. So you're not going to really miss any bug fixes or anything like that. Um, since the, since Ruin came out, June patch was the latest one. So we're going to uh, go into this website called SteamDB. Now, SteamDB will also be in the, linked in the description of this video. Um, for make it easier on you guys. Um, but once you get into this page, you'll see a bunch of information about Finance to Freya Secure Breach. Now, don't worry about basically all of this, because we don't really need any of it. Um, so now that, ha now that you have this pulled up, we're going to be typing something into a new tab. So in the new tab, search up Steam, two dots, slash slash open slash console now once you hit enter you'll get a, a pop-up saying open steam a website wants to open this application now just click open and then once that happens you get a whole new tab in your steam um, you can only really access this through um like a web browser or you can also run it, this on your computer However, I just did it this way because I find it easier. Now, once you have this open, you're going to want to put into the console download underscore depot. Now, just click space, and we're also going to be 
going back into Steam DB. Then you're going to want to look at this app ID in the top, and you're going to want to copy the app ID. Now you want to go back into Steam, paste that app ID in. Now click space. So we're also going to need another thing. Go down into where it says depots, and you're going to want to click on the quarter's content ID on the left. Once you click that, you get this. All you really need from here, though, is this depot ID on the top. Copy that. Paste that in, then space again. Now you're going to want to go back into here, and you're going to click on manifest on the left. And then you're going to get a whole bunch of different, like, patches for the game. Now, the latest one was the July one. However, we're going to be going to the one before that, which you, which works with um, basically all mods for Secure Breach. So we're going to use the June 15th patch. And you're going to want to copy the manifest link that we could just uh, copy it like this. Go back into Steam, copy and paste it in, and then there you go. Now, before I click Enter, what this is going to do is that it's going to be adding, um, it's going to be installing that June patch. Basically, it's going to be installing a whole different version of Security Breach as a separate game, though. So this is not going to affect your base Security Breach game. This is going to make another Security Breach game for specifically that patch. Now, where that game is going to be going is into your uh, main drive. So for me, it'll be going into my C um, drive. Um, I think that's for most people. Your C drive is your default drive for where most of your things go. Um, I don't know how to redirect it, but you can always move it when it's finished. Now, this process could take a very, very long time. It depends on your internet speed. So, relatively, I should, I'm should i going to cut the video until when it's finally installed. Um, for me, it would be roughly 30, 40 minutes to download. Um, for other people, it could be an hour, two hours. Because, you know, this game is also like 50, 60 gigabytes. So, it depends on your internet speed um, of how fast this will be able to download. So, once you have all that information in, it all looks correct. We're going to click enter. Now it's just going to say uh, that's downloading depot and you just have to wait. Um, don't touch anything about this. Don't do anything else. Um, I'm going to cut back to the video when I have fully finished it. And so, yeah, and we are back and it has officially fully been completed. Now, once you when it when it is completed, you'll get a message like this. Depot download complete, uh, C program files, blah, blah, blah. That's basically where it's located. Now, to find it, um, where it's located on your PC, just copy this. Then go into your uh, file explorer, open up a new tab, and just put onto here this. And then boom. You have found the location where your second security breach game is. Um, now, this is your second because it's completely, it's completely different from um, your Steam. So it's in Steam, but it is not connected at all to um, your main security breach game. Like I said before, this is a separate game that it downloaded. Now, once you have it downloaded, everything looks fine, you know. Everything's good. Now we can start to actually get into how we can um, put mods in. So we know this is going to work. Um, so there's really need for tested. I've done this before. We're going to now open up the mod launcher that we downloaded earlier. So just click on the .exe. You can just say no to this. It's fine. Uh, go up to to go up to here where it says Dragon Ball Fighter Z and just scroll down until you see a fine surprise security breach. Just click cancel and then yeah, you ha you um switch it to security breach. Now we're gonna set it up. So just click the setup button, and once you have it, you're gonna want to select the FNAF9.exe folder uh, or the the exe file. Um so 
to find it. Just just paste that um, the directory that you copied earlier. Put into there, and then you just click on FNAF.exe. And now it says setup complete for finance phrase security breach. Now that went, like I said before, into your second game, not your main. And um, even if you want, you can use this to browse mods um, in Security Breach. So you don't have to use Game Banana because it's already connected to Game Banana. So if you want to go through here and download mods, you can. It's a lot more easier because you, you could just click download mod and it'll go right to there. But you're going to see right now that we don't have any mods. So we, we're going to use one of the mods that we downloaded earlier. You're going to click add mods. This is like the different way you could just, you can just do it for here, but I'm going to show you the other way because that way is a lot more um, self-explanatory. But if you want to do it this way, you can. So just open a mods folder and it'll pull it up and go into your downloads where you download the handy mod, drag it into there, wait for it to be finished. Then you're going to extract. Once extracted, you get this. Now, when you look back into it, you're going to realize why is the mod not showing? You don't have to restart it or anything. This needs to be in a file for it to work. So you're going to want to create a new file. You can just call it exactly what it is. And just put that pack file into there. Now you see that it has been updated. It has a check mark saying that the mod is in. Um, when it's check marked, that means the mod is enabled. Once it's not check marked, it means it's disabled. So you can enable and disable any mod you want. So, and then the second way to do it, we're going to go through here, the easier way. Um, I'm just going to download a old mod that um, obviously will work for this. So, ooh. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of mods you can use. It doesn't really matter. There's no limit to how many mods you can use. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one. You could just click download, click yes, and say download progress. Once you go into here, boom, it's there. All right, we got it. We have two mods in. You don't have to get that mod, but it's whatever you want, of course. So now, once you fully have everything, well, there's one more thing that we're going to do. We're going to want to open back into here. And then the link in the, in the description, there's a link to this page. Um, this is for the Un Universal Unreal Engine 4 Unlocker. Now, I used, I uh, showed you how to use this in the uh, previous tutorial, but I will show again for this tutorial in case you haven't seen it. Um, this is an updated version, the one I used before, and it's a lot better, this one, of course. So once you get onto this page, you're going to click this link here. And then it'll start downloading. We're going to go back into our folder where we have everything. You're going to want to drag that zip file that you just downloaded into your tutorials folder. I mean, whatever. It could be on your desktop or anywhere on your computer. Not For me, it's tutorials, fold, tutorials folder. Sorry. Extract here. And then now you have um, the UU client. Once you open it up, you get this. And now we're going to actually launch the game so we can use this. Um, just before I launch, this is mainly for if you want to activate the console in the game. So you can use debugging and so on. It's, a, it's pretty neat to have this. It's a good um, thing to have if, you, if you're really modding and you want to explore Security Breach. So just go back to here. And once you're done, you click Launch. Now, when your game has a uh, launched, you'll tell that it's different. Like, all this is different because we're obviously pain. Uh, we have installed a different version of Security Breach. So, we are in the June patch of the game. 
you could just click play, load game. And also, this is a uh, interesting thing. You can play uh, different saves that you already have in your main uh, secure breach onto here. Um, I don't know how it connects, but it can. Um, maybe I would say not use those save saves just in case they get corrupted. We're just going to click on new game. So what we did get, we got the candy mod. So we're going to test to see if the candy mod works. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the candy mod replaces Freddy in the intro of the game. So if it's candy, then everything works and uh, that'll be it. And look at that. I'm already. I am experiencing a malfunction. So, this is how you can uh, mod Security Breach. Um, now, obviously, this is not for the most recent version of Security Breach that we just did. Um, however, like I said at the start, a lot of mods don't work with the current version of Security Breach. Like majority of the mods, there are only a handful of mods that have been updated for it. Um, but there are so many other mods out there that haven't. And if you want to play those, you just do this that I just did. This whole process. And if you just want to wait and see if those people actually update the mods, you can. Or maybe you just don't want to change to a different version of Secure Breach. That's fine. Um, but there's two things you can learn from this video. One, how to mod a different version of Security Breach. And also how to play any version of security breach that you want uh, because you didn't have to download the June patch you could have chose any other patch there's a whole bunch of other manifest links that you could choose from you could choose the date one patch the, the the February patch the April patch like you could choose any of those and it'll still work for these um, but I chose the June patch to keep more of the recent the latest um, stuff fixes for security breach but yeah, that is how you mod Security Breach um, after the Ruin patch. Now, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, this is me coming back to the video again, and I forgot something. Um, I forgot to show you how to actually use the UUU client launcher that we just downloaded. I'm sorry, but here's how to do it. So... Um, once you have it open, that you already downloaded it, you click Select, you click Security Breach, and you click Inject. Now, on the top, it'll just say all this, and once it says Camera Found, that means you got it. And if it doesn't say Camera Found, it means that you have to restart the game. Now, when we click the little squiggly line that I told you that you click on your keyboard, you get a prompt that shows up at the bottom. Or you click on it again, it'll show it here. Um, this is for toggling to, you know, debug camera, fly around, free cam. You can really use any commands in here that the game allows. Um, it's very useful. Um, I recommend actually using this. Like I said, I already showed you how to download it and everything. But I did forget to show you how to actually inject it into the game. But that's about it for the video. Sorry for that. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.